Alrighty, guys and gals, what's up, all you beautiful people out there? It's Big E. Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Welcome back to the only thing that's happening on the channel right now, I believe. <clears throat> World of Warcraft. Classic Hardcore. Hopefully, we'll be getting back into the regular swing of the regularly scheduled programs, episodes. Mm -hmm. This is coming out so far into the future that I honestly don't know, but... Uh, what are we doing? We made our way to Stone Talon, this area, Stone Talon area. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. And I've decided we are not going to do Harpy's Threaten. I was thinking about it. The reason is uh, I can't see the quest. It's it's gray. Uh, so that means those mobs will be five, six levels below us. We wouldn't get credit for most, if not all of them. So we're going to run down into Desolus this episode. Yes, we are. That's going to be the play. And we're probably going to be doing some coal car stuff. <clears throat> we're going to pick up... There's a little center... Um, oh, we would have got credit. Damn. That's all right. Yes, we would have got credit. That's okay. Uh, let's get the pet out. Uh, there's two camps we can, there's one flight point, but we can pick up. Can I speak? There's two camps. So it's like a center thing. And then there's one down the shore. We're going to go get that flight point down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would have got credit for this stuff. That's okay. Honestly, I, I didn't really want to do this. I was just kind of looking for something to do. The coal car quests are our level. Those yellow quests, a little bit grindy, but there's, um, couple parts to it so that'll that'll be fun to do I guess maybe also we uh, we got we're maxed out first aid bought the books kind of figured out what the hell I was doing there I was kind of stumped and stuck on it figured that out professions are looking damn good right now as a matter of fact fishing first aid cooking all 225 Skinning is 244 of 300. We're artesian level. Mining is, uh, we're getting there. And as we go into these higher level areas, we're, we're going to get that mining up as well. This is where it hurts to die in Hardcore Challenge. You spent all of this time and effort into your getting your gear, getting your professions. This is where it hurts the most, in my opinion. It's one thing to die in the first 20 levels when you're not really set up yet. So I'm going to try to avoid that at all costs. I'm going to keep an eye on these roads here because this level range goes up to 40. So there's stuff eight levels above us in here. So we've got to be careful. Yes, we do. And we will. There's Rexar. Here's a very long patrol. And uh, Misha. Mm -hmm. These are two cards in uh, Blizzard's Hearthstone game. Which is sadly... Well, that's that game's always been pay to win. I, I remember when that game first came out, there was these massive arguments about it. You can buy card packs. It, it's The game is pay to win. I don't care how you look at it. I loved that game for a long time. Now, you can play it, um, you know, well, obviously you can play it. I just, I don't like pay-to-win stuff, no matter how they try to phrase it visually or verbally. But that's what that game is. But it's a fun game. It, it can be a fun game, especially when, in the beginning. It was a lot of fun. But you'd have people spending thousands of dollars on card packs basically get every legendary and OP card when somebody who didn't spend any money on it they just didn't get that shit so like you know I mean I don't know why I'm talking about that I just remember Rexar as a card and he has an animal companion Misha that he can uh, call out with uh, another card or something anyway I hope everybody's doing well today yes sir um now there is a several packs of roaming hyenas in here. We gotta we gotta watch out for those. There's like four of them, maybe five. 
deadly mobs. So we're going to go down here to whatever. I always forget what this little camp is called. It's camp something. And then we're going to be heading down this way to Shadow Prey Village. And this is where we got to be damn careful through here. There's a, there's demons down there that are really high level. But hold on now. Hold on. Hold on one second here. What is this shit? Okay. Okay, we're, yeah, we have we actually have two quests to turn in here. So we're going to pick up this alliance. I think what happens here is we get a follow-up to either kill this tribe or this tribe. We're going to choose this tribe to kill. We'll get friendly with this tribe, but that way we're closer to Shadow Prey Village. That's what we're going to be grinding on uh, if we get down there. And sh between these quests and the little bit of grinding we have to do here, probably uh, level up, level 33. I just had some, uh, made myself some scrambled eggs with a little sharp cheddar cheese. I only had four eggs, but uh, yeah, ate a little bit too much. I am still, have not slept, almost three days. It's the same day as the last one you saw. I'm trying not to point that out. I just keep going back to it. It's because I just tend to kind of talk about whatever's currently happening. But I'm in this weird state of... Uh, I'm on, like, autopilot. My brain's just... Hardly any of the synapses are firing. I'm just kind of... <laughs> in this weird state. This would probably be my last video for today, though. And you know what just occurred to me? Okay, I've got space left here. Not much. <laughs> oh, boy. These things are five levels here. Let's be careful. The Kodos aren't hostile. Ghost Walker Post. That's what it is. No flight point here. There is a flight point. Probably starting Cataclysm, but not TBC or Wrath. Somebody's taming some Kodos. Mm hmm. Let's check in with the vendors. Ah, uh, I have just the thing for you. Always on the lookout for a little recipe or knick-knack or well met. something. Wins be at your back. What do you have, sir? Catch of the day? Eh, I'm going to pass that up for now. Prob I'm not going to be doing much in the water. I, I think that quest is in the water. I'm not really down for it. Some random DC or something. Lotar! Just kind of screwed. Go with honor. So, we can pick up both of these. The For the horde! Strength and honor. And we'll check in with Morin Bone Splitter. I'm listening. He called me my dear. He said, come closer, my dear. What level is this? We can do this one as well. Beware the Okay, this is, uh, this is great. There's definitely stuff we could do here. Good level. What brings you here? Um, let's check and see what you have, brother. Can we upgrade our drinks? <clears throat> Do we need to? We probably will by the time we hit level 35. Okay. It's a quest item. Interesting. I have to, re I have to review that quest. I vaguely remember what it is. Take a moment. Welcome uh, new people who've recently subscribed and are recently watching. Thank you very much.
Alexa, read my notifications. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Two terabytes SSD has arrived. Oh, good. Kind of forgot I ordered that. That's something I uh, ordered that when I didn't know I was losing my job. Got an upgraded, uh, a bigger drive. I'm running out of drive space on my blood and thunder. On my, uh, really my primary drive. Dabu. Okay, not ready for that. You so, wish to speak? Which one of these are we pick up? I wish I fuck. Okay, well here's what we do. We pick up both of Walk these. Walk with the earth. Because I'm not sure which tribe is which tribe. Shine upon thee. Oh, my quest log is full. That's interesting. Okay, the Sacred Flame we're getting rid of. At one time this was an upgrade. We're just, we're going to get rid of that. It's in that cave anyway, so it's time to let that go. How may I we will not be going back to again. Thousand Needles, I don't believe. Does it tell me? Oh, this is Magrum. No, this is Gelkis. Okay, so we're going to be slaying the Gelks here. You can do this both times if you want. It's just super grindy. So we'll pick up Magrum Alliance and we will drop the other one. We'll drop Galkus. Did I just do that right? Yeah, we slay these things. Okay, that's what we want. Let's uh let's roll on out of here. What's going on, bruh? Fellowship of the Ring, what a cool guild name, man. That's awesome. And it's a dwarf. <laughs> All right. This is the this is the trouble area. All the way down here is pretty is pretty rough, but this is the worst right here. There's like these big uh, demons, elementals. What are they called? The sort of the bee. I don't know what they're called. These things. But they also have the big these things. Infernals. A little bit nervous in here, man. I'll zoom far out. I kind of need to go check on the chickens. My landlord is super busy. So she doesn't have a... She doesn't get out there a lot. Before I got sick, I would go out there every day. I give them fresh water and make sure they have food. But it's been several days since I've been out there. And the, the food isn't that big of a deal because they're so messy. They always have food on the ground. But the water... I think that the thing, it's like an auto feeder. I think it leaks because I can fill that thing up and it's its like a 20 gallon water holder. But sometimes that thing is dry in two days and I'll go out there and they have no water and I'll grab the hose and they just run over and they start drinking the drops and everything. It's so sad. It doesn't happen that often because, you know, I like to take care of them. I'm kind of hoping she's because she knows I'm like death. I've been deathly sick. I hope you know she's she's looking out for him. I mean, they're they're her chickens. They're not you know they're not my chickens, but I love them like they're my own children. All right, it wasn't too bad. We've made it. Let's start doing this, man. Let's get into the hall. Let's get ourselves a. We can take our t our pick. Let's finish off the the soothing turtle. Bisque. We've only got three of those left. Did I pick up a... Uh, I didn't buy any... I uh, guess I didn't get the armor pots or whatever. That's alright. Not a big deal. So he's still level 31. I'll keep that in mind. Should have no problems here. All 
And we're just trying to get our rep to friendly here. I guess there's nothing to track there. Yeah. So we'll see when that pops up. I can get some sleep later. The hell is my clock at? The, you should have a time clock right here. Hello? Oh, that's weird. There it is. 2.30. One thing I'm going to do today, before I do get in the bed and try to get some sleep after three days, hopefully I, I sleep today. Uh, I'm going to have a nice warm bath. I'm going to get nice and clean. I'm going to get in that bed. And I'm hoping that I can sleep for a solid eight hours. That's going to do my body wonders. was to ever like come into the channel and then just start kind of watching my let's plays like after I got sick almost it's actually it's coming up on four weeks now it'd probably be a very weird thing I don't know it depends on when they started watching you know I wonder if these have the, uh, where they do the whirlwind on you. She's trying to do something here. That might have been a heal. I don't know. I feel like that was she was going to do her, where they wrap you up in the, uh, the tornado or whatever that is. Also, why can't we skin these? Hmm? I'm actually thinking about skinning, like, a horse that's kind of... Fucking terrifying. Horrible. <laughs> I don't want to skin them now. Glad I can't. Look at these things. I really don't want to fuck with these. Ooh, man. All right, we got to watch out for the earth callers. Those are much higher level. I think we need to track this because it'll actually it'll make the sound it'll say good job when we complete it there's no need for me to have this up here how you doing there boar fist i can't target that mob oh it's friendly why I wonder if we sp if we're gonna speak to her after we complete this first part. It's kind of weird. Oh, and I just realized these are all neutral because we're not unfriendly yet. So it doesn't really matter if I get too close. I just have to pay attention if I kill something and then boom, we cross the line. That'll that could be a problem. We should see this down here though. Yeah, it's right here. So we're slowly going uh, hated here. Pretty grindy, but it's for, right now it's it's actually perfect for us to do this. Do 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 do. She tries to do her ability here. Oh. 
bigger little healing pot there. Greater healing pot. Quite a few of those. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, here she goes. Let's see what it is. It's a heal. It's a heal. Okay. There it is, level 32. That helps out. Now he... He's got 20 points. I'm, I'm holding off on these two because uh, I do remember your pet he really starts to slow down as far as the training points they give you. And if I'm being honest, all I really care about... Growl is free, but I, the natural armor and the stamina is my priority uh, for training him. So... Start taking it easy. He's got basic ranks of the resistances, which yeah, I don't know how much it helps. If we looked at it, it would probably say poor, you know, or weak or whatever. She's uh, fried. <laughs> that still recharge in. It's kind of weird that we would like we wouldn't be immediately at war with <laughs> with this clan. We just we're just strolled into the middle of a neutral camp. It's just murdering. Just murdering everybody we see. You think it would go immediately? <laughs> like, hey, that's not cool. Yeah, I, I do kind of want to watch because I don't know when it's going to happen. We go hostile, but I don't want to be standing in a crowd <laughs> when they decide, okay, enough's enough. That's 50 of us dead. That's the last straw, sir. I need to get closer. How, how is this, uh... Oh, it's coming down pretty quick. We're 600 to 3,000. Let's see what the change is here. Oh, it's 100 per kill. Okay, we have five more kills. And we are... Does it go neutral? I guess it goes neutral. No, we're at neutral, so I guess it goes hated. And then at war, I don't know. So let's keep that in mind, five more kills. I have the... There's a reputation bar you can put down here, but I... When I started using Bartender and could hide it, I stopped using it. A stamper, huh? up after this. Do -do 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 -do. Let's take on the stamper. See what he does. See if he does anything anything special or exciting. Stomp his feet, maybe? Would be a stun. Yeah. 
having trouble hitting my shots, man. I get that makes sense. He's, I mean, he's only two levels above us, but doing a lot of missing. So how many is that? Did we kill three? So we have two more, I think. We have two more to kill here. Yeah, we have two more. So it should... Unless there's some other... There's something between neutral and hated. There might be. So this is going to be the kill right here. And then I'm assuming these are going to turn red. It didn't turn red, so what is that? Where are we at? Oh, we're at zero. So I gotta go one more. To get below zero. I like how quickly you become hated with the uh, the Blood Cell Buccaneers. <laughs> You walked into their area, hated. Can't stand you. Okay, so now we are uh, we are hostile. Oh, it does go. It goes unfriendly. Okay, but that's is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong thing here. What we're doing is trying to get this to friendly. This is what we're doing. Okay. So let's see how much I get. I wonder if it's 100. It might be the same. Like maybe this goes to 2520. We'll see. Yeah, I was kind of reading that backwards. It's just the way my brain's working. Twenty? Wow, we only we only gain twenty rep. We we go decrease by a hundred for the other tribe, but we only gain twenty. So we got some kills to do. Quite a few. That's alright. That's I I knew this was grindy. Yeah, it's fine. Still need to watch out for those things, man. Oh shit. It's too far away. He almost got away there. It didn't have the sting on him. Oh, it fell off. Also just noticed my error speech has turned back on. Oh fuck. Let me see this dude. Well, these things are popping back up. So my pet's gonna go for the pet the uh this guy up here as soon as he's finished, unless I call him off. that. You can use that to your advantage if you're uh, you know, trying to hurry. You could sick your pet. I wonder if it works for more than one mob. Like if I sicked him here, told him to go out of range. Like, sicked him here, told him to go here, and then here. I wonder if he would go in order like that. I have a feeling he would just go to the the second one. Like I sent him here. I said, no, go here. Before he gets here, I said go here. I feel like he would go here and then here, and he wouldn't go back. That's what my brain's thinking about right now. Stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, but I noticed my error speech is turned on here. At least I don't mind it. 
I'll tell you what that's no most annoying with if you're playing... Oh, she got the heal off there. Especially a rogue, the dual-wielding rogue. They, they attack so fast. Well, no, that's not a good example. It's really somebody who's, like, spamming an ability. And it's not off CD yet. So you're just constantly hearing... I can't do that. I can't do. I can't do that. I can't. Not enough. I can't. That drives me nuts. If I'm watching a let's play and that's going on, it drives me insane. It's like, how is this person? Like, how is that not driving them ape shit? To listen to that, like just over and over and over. I can't cast that yet. All right. Let's get a little drink. A drinky, drinky, drinky. I'm trying to do the math on that real quick. We have a shit ton of kills. That's what it works out to. <laughs> I think that's uh, an accurate number. <coughs> what, did, what came in here? Did I get a... Something came in. Oh, wow, man. This bumble site's pretty interesting. I don't know what the hell I'm doing on it. I really don't. I don't have time or... Dude, I, I am... I'm a perf... Professional hermit, man. Like, and here I am. I just I joined it on a whim when I was, you know, because I've been so fucking sick for a month and just out of my mind and delirious and lonely and depressed and all that shit. You know, I just kind of joined it. It was actually my uh, my landlord recommended it. She's, I love her, man. She she looks out. She cares about me and. She's just an awesome lady. She's much younger than me. I've... She's also beautiful. She's a really beautiful... Not just... Beautiful inside and out. She's just an amazing lady. But she's absolutely gorgeous. And When I first came to look at this place pulled up, she was going to show it to me, and I saw her, and I was like, oh my god. You know, I get fucking nervous as hell. It's like a beautiful woman, and I'm like a fucking big ogre-looking dude, you know? I just, that's the stuff that starts happening with me immediately. She's just the, the coolest... I don't know. I'm secretly in love with her. I'm, I'm madly in love with her, if I'm being honest. On every level. She's a great friend, though. And and I'm a terrible friend. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm terrible. I'm just pretty awkward. But nothing's, nothing's ever happened between us. No flirting, nothing. I'm super respectful and, you know, I don't... It's hard for me to initiate things. I don't cross lines. She also she has a boyfriend. She's had, I think, two boyfriends since I've been here. The first guy she dated was really cool, this guy Dave. I liked him a lot. She's dating a new guy now. And, uh, I think he's an archaeologist. He seems really cool, too, although I've not, I've not, I don't really know him. I've not spoken to him. Just, you know, hi or whatever if he's... If he's over there, seems like a cool dude. She told me she only sees... They only see each other, like, once a month, man. That must be rough. That must be pretty tough. But here's the thing about a relationship like that. That is a healthy relationship. Because you are not spending too much time together. And when you do see each other... It's just awesome, right? It's just... It's good. 
but it must be it must be really difficult. But anyway, yeah, I'm uh, so I joined this site called Bumble. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm there's a different bunch a bunch of different pay plans because with all dating sites now, you can't see if somebody sends you a message. It's just a blur. You can't see what the person looks like or read the message unless you pay. But they have a thing where you, you can pay $4 a day. So I did that the first day because I got a couple of hits. Like people were like they had interest in me and I couldn't see. So I was like, I was looking at the pricing plans. It's a, It seems like an expensive site, but it's not fair for me to say that because I haven't been on a dating site in so long. I don't know what normal prices are. So I just chose one day, and what it does, and I just realized this, it, I'm all, this is my third day on it, I think. It automatically renews every day after 24 hours, so they keep charging you $4. So four times 30, you can do the math on that. Or Oh, fuck. Fuck. What are you doing, man? These giants are so disgusting. If you, I don't know if you guys have ever watched these giants. You can see these uh, down here. They're all down here. If you watch them, <laughs> well, let's just watch this guy for a minute. You probably know what I'm talking about. I'm going to get too fucking close to him. They have a special animation that they do. Let's see if he does it. They do it in the water. I see them do it in the water. Let's just say he makes bubbles in the water. That's what he does. Damn, let's keep a fucking eye on that thing, man. <clears throat> anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. Well, this dating site, yeah. I'm... So, like, I've got all this stuff going on in my life. And then I fucking just randomly joined this <laughs> dating site, and I'm I'm in this position where I I can't. The person would have to live here in Silver City for me to date them, and there's not not a lot of options here. In fact, there's I, there's nobody that I've even seen in Silver City. The closest town. Well, there's a town called Deming, which is an hour away. That's not too bad, but these are small towns. So Las Cruces is a pretty popular place, but that's a couple hour ride. I think it's three hours across the bottom of the state. And then, there's, of course, there's Albuquerque, which is, you know, capital. And then there's, uh, what is Albuquerque? The, I think Albuquerque is the capital. I don't, it might be Santa Fe. Fuck, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm a terrible New Mexican. Albuquerque is five, six hours, depending on which way you go, and Santa Fe is six, seven hours. So that's just too, too far. I'm also getting hits from their surrounding states, like Arizona and Texas. They're on either side of me. So it, it, it's, it's flattering that people are, uh, you know, interested. It's also nerve-wracking for me a little bit. So I don't really know what I'm doing. My life is in this weird place. And I've chatted. I, we've, I've had some texting, you know, back and forth. I've not spoken to anybody on the phone or anything, but... I'm, uh... The problem I have and the problem I've always had is I am too open. I s have a tendency to say what I'm feeling like I'm, and that's not always good. I mean, I don't think it's bad, but it's too much when you first meet somebody and I'm very complimentary, right? And it's... I have a feeling it comes off as either like this guy is a lunatic 
or he's probably at best like this guy seems a little bit emotionally unbalanced <laughs> that's not a good thing you know you know that shouldn't be the impression only a handful of my time a handful of times in my life has somebody responded thinking this guy seems really genuine and open and honest that's the best case but it's a it's a different time you know you can't be you, you gotta you gotta keep it under control a little bit you know you gotta you go slow and I have a super hard time doing that And again, I've warned you guys about the, you know, the episodes and apparently, you know, I'm still, because I'm sleep depraved, I've been talking about all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> Every time before I start recording, I'm like, okay, man, let's do, let's just play the game. Just play the fucking game. <laughs> People don't want to know that when I look at somebody, if I'm attracted to them, I immediately want to cuddle with them. Like that's, Yeah. We, we don't need to know that. And you certainly don't want to say that, even though I just did. Okay. Let's get away from this guy. We're going to pull him. All right. Do 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 do. That was real unfortunately not only did we miss concussive shot we missed the white shot right after it <laughs> how are we doing here on this rep all right we're getting there we're closing in <clears throat> i can't even figure the math out my brain's just not it's not functioning like that numbers what are you kidding me We're 45 minutes in here. We we're gonna wrap this up. We we'll probably uh, probably finish this up next episode because we still have a, a, a good amount of kills. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Strength, agility, and stamina. And it's male. This will sell. That is gonna sell. What does that look like? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I can see an orc wearing that. I actually kind of like the way it looks on us, honestly. Now, cool thing about a hunter, and I believe shaman as well, we can wear mail when we hit level 40. And we will wear mail when we hit level 40. All right, let's run down to the village here. Let me check in. We'll finish this up next episode. There they are. Right there. And here's this freak. Yeah. Be damn careful with that. So it's four. It's the leader plus... It looks like three mobs there. Could have been more. Scorpions over here. No joke either, as you can see. Now, these mobs could resist our feign death. Easy. I think that's the way it is when it's a red mob. Especially if it's a skull. If you can't see the level, I would not count on it. I mean, obviously try it, but I've been resisted by skull mobs. Just They're just like, nah. <laughs> oh, did you die? All right, I guess I'll leave. Looks like you just fell down and died. So, <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not going for it. Now, here we can fish up a fish that we do need for a cooking recipe, I think. Let's check in here. So here's the uh, Stranglethorn Veil Peace, thing. Peace, friend. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. Wait, what did that say? That's interesting. He's like a fellow hunter, so they've got like a... Yeah, they're like friends. That's kind of cool that uh, it transcends factions like that. Kind of neat. Let's see if we picked up anything. I got a little bit of smelt. Huh. 
that's actually all we have to smelt. Now, here is going to be... I can never remember where this person is. But I like to check in with the NPCs when I come to a new place. How you doing, man? Because of stuff like this. Look at the strength on that. That's not a bad two-handed. It's just pretty damn expensive. Bye bye now. This, I think, is where you would get. This is where we were coming to get the cooking book. Um, I just gotta remember. I think it's at the top of these steps here, if you're wondering. But apparently, you can just buy it. Hello, yeah. oh, man. Right here it is. Oh, it's ninety. Now I wonder if this is because we're getting a discount, but we've already learned that. So I paid a little bit more for that. We know that. Do I want that? I don't think we do. I think we're beyond that right now. So don't need anything in here, but um let's give the pet this meat. No sense of wasting it. So what people do is they buy this book and then they post it on the auction house and they'll make 40 Spirits silver. be with you, man. If they're greedy, they'll try to make a gold or two, you know. And some people will do it. You get to a point where, you know, you're you're doing all right. And you just buy it. it. saves a lot of time. Um, I don't think we have anything else to do here. But what we are going to do is set our hearthstone here. Oh my gosh, look at the sales. 15 and a half gold. All right, let's get. How may I aid you? Make this go in, in peace. And then let me go get the flight point because I will forget to do it. What else we have up here? Skinning trainer. You say? What be on your mind? I guess nothing. Be oh, right. seeing, well, yeah. yeah. We're artisan. Never mind. We we've got nothing else to learn. We are. We just. That's just going to keep going up to three hundred there. Other fish to fry. All right. What do you got? Trade supplies. Let me quick check here. Talk to me. What do you want to hear? You want to hear a joke? Bye bye Let's, now. You got some jokes. What do you have? Clam bait. Nah. No, nah, I'm not. We're not doing anything in the water. Too risky. How you doing, man? Wait, what she say? Yeah. So it is Nat Pagel. So it's both the Alliance and the Horde. Go talk to Nat. So stay away from the voodoo. We probably will do that eventually. Firefin snappers. Those are nice to fish up. Let's get this. I gotta wrap it up. I'm gonna get in the bathtub. I'm gonna soak for a minute, get clean, hopefully don't fall asleep and drown. And then my ass is gonna try to go to sleep. I love the troll music. I love this little soundtrack. It's so cool. It has that, I don't know what they call that, that mouth harmonica thing. I love the way that thing sounds. There's a name for it. I don't think it's called mouth harmonica, but it's basically what it is. Well, alrighty. Alrighty, righty. You guys and gals take care. Thanks so much for hanging out. Sorry about the insaneness of the narrative. Take care. Beerfist and I will see you in the next Catch episode. Catch you later. Peace.